Hello everyone, fellow hikers. We're out here in sunny California, beautiful day for hiking. So come on this way with me, I wanna to talk to you for a second. My name's Rick Deutsch and I'm a hiker. I do quite a bit of hiking at Yosemite National Park and I always take my hiking poles and I bring Lakey poles. Let me tell you just a little bit about Lakey. The name is pronounced Lakey, which goes from the founder, Klaus Lenhart, that's the L-E. The K-I is from Kirkheim, Germany, where the company's located. So it's a German company, and this company's been around since the late 1940s. They're the leading producer of hiking poles, Nordic walking poles, and ski poles. Very good, high-quality poles. So let me dissect a typical pole for you. And Lakey has many different models you can choose from. The poles themselves are identical. The physical poles are identical. And by the way, they're assembled in the Czech Republic. Now let's just dissect this here. This is one particular model that has what's called a speed lock. So come on in, in here and we'll take a look at this quick release. This little white lever here, I just flip it over and now I can adjust the length of the pole, which as you're gonna see soon, is very important. You then click it back and it holds rigidly. On this particular model, we have a system here that grabs it as you twist it around. As you can see, I'm twisting it around and now it can go up and down as well. So what I wanna do is tighten up the upper and the lower. One thing you'll notice on your poles, there are number markings here at the top and the bottom. Those are centimeters of the length. So what you want to do when you first get your poles, go ahead and lengthen them as far as you want, okay? And then put them down by your side, put them by your foot out in front of you. So take a look where I'm positioned right now. And what I'm gonna do is tap down the pole tapping it down gently until I get a 90 degree angle with my elbow. So your forearm is roughly parallel to the ground. Don't worry about it if it's not exact, it's fine. As long as you're in this area, what you don't want is them being too short, similar to this, or too long where you're walking like this. So I personally am about 130 centimeters. So I'll go ahead and set my upper and when I set my lower, I'll also put it at 130 centimeters. And that means the entire pole is 130 centimeters. So I'm tightening this bottom one up, right is tight, left is loose. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. At the very end of the pole is a carbide steel tip. For hiking, this is exactly what you want on trails, grass, anything that's rough where most of our hiking takes place. Also down at the bottom is a small basket that you can see here. What the basket is used for is if you're in very soft soil, it'll keep the pole from sinking down in. Come on back up to the top. Let me show you the strapping system. At the top we have a strap, and the way that you use it is you come in from the bottom and put your hand over the top, right below the top, and this is how you're going to be carrying them. However, you are not gripping these poles and picking them up. What you're gonna do is keep the poles behind you going uphill and in front of you going downhill, and we'll show you that. But the important thing is your body weight rests on the strap, not on the grip. The purpose of that is less wrist pain, carpal tunnel issues go away. Now the straps are left and right. The reason for that is your hand goes in properly. If I attempted to put this on my left hand, it wouldn't feel right. It just wouldn't feel right. So when you get your poles, take a look at the strap. There is an L or an R marked on the strap. The straps are different, the poles are not. What I do personally, and I'd suggest this, I put a piece of red tape on the right strap pole. So I keep these in the trunk of my car whenever I'm hiking, so I can just pull them out, look for the red strap, red piece of tape, 
and go to the strap that's for the right pole. Now, if you need to tighten them up, a lot of women have smaller hands, so the strap might be a little too tight or too loose for you. This is a very clever device, also invented by Lakey. Watch this. I just pull up, and this allows it to loosen up, so I can either pull on the center strap to loosen it up, or the lower strap to tighten it up. When it's done, you just click it back, and now you have the proper strap length. The way we're going to do our hiking, on the straight and level, these really help you with balance and stability. Regardless of where you are in the mountains, you might have a cliff edge, and if you're just walking normally with your two feet, you could risk getting off balance and falling over. With hiking poles, think of yourself as being a mountain goat. You've got four points of stability. So if that cliff is over there, you can walk safely through it. These are very versatile besides just hiking. They can serve as a fishing pole. I also went camping one time and I forgot to bring my tent stakes, my tent poles. So what I did is I rigged up a little system where I used my poles to support the tent. Really worked out well. And finally, one thing that I think is very, very handy, if you're walking in the woods, of course, if you're in, the, in Yosemite or Yellowstone or wherever you might be, you might run into some wildlife. Wildlife is indeed wild. They're not pets. In order not to get approached or hurt in any way, try this. Go on, go on, get out of here. Also, if that doesn't work, you have got some level of protection. Imagine walking with nothing or a dog comes up to you. You have no way to protect yourself. These poles are great for that as well. What I want to show you now is actually how to use the poles, okay? So, as I mentioned, you got your 90 degree angle. When you're walking straight and level, you're just getting balance and stability. But when you're going uphill, I want you to put the poles behind you. So I'm going to go down, walk just a little bit to show you the normal route of a straight and level area. So let's go ahead and take a walk this way. So what I'm doing is just walking on pretty much a straight and level. Generally, the poles are in front of me. I'm reaching out, and I'm doing a left and right sink from my arms and feet. Let me go sideways for you. Start over here to your right, so you get a good view of this. My right hand and my left foot are forward, walking like this. Okay, and I'm just getting stability and balance. And then one more time. Okay. Now I'm going to back up a little bit and come right at you so you can see what this looks like from the front. And off we go. Now one thing you're going to notice is you don't look down at your poles. You can glance down with the peripheral vision of your eyes to see what's in front of you, of course. And if it's a hairy area with big boulders and unsteady ground, go ahead and look down because you're just going to pick your way through. So that's the basic uh, position, and a lot of your hike's just going to be like that. What we're going to do now is to show you what it's like to go uphill. Once again, right strap, red tape. That's a good way to remember. Also, to review, the strap is resting, that my body's resting on the strap, okay? Now going uphill, you still want to try to maintain that 90 degree angle, so I'm going to shorten the poles a little bit. I'm going to shorten them just a little bit, and you can experiment with this, whatever works for you. Remember, it's whatever works for you. There's no hard, fast rules. Whatever works for you is fine. But I want these shorter because the earth is closer to me. That'll keep my hands almost at a 90 degree. Watch, I'm going to keep these poles behind me going uphill, okay? So take a look. Here we go. So the poles tips are gripping right behind me. The carbide steel is really gripping in. Keeping my head up, looking around. Easy speezy. Okay, now I'm going to come back to you because the earth is a little bit below me. I'm going to lengthen the poles very, very far. Okay, once you do that, click, click, I'm in. Now the poles stay in front of me. So I'm going to balance myself coming down. I'm going to go down like Spider Man. This is taking the pressure off my knees. 
That is the whole point of lengthening them and using poles for downhill. I really think the downhill portion is, is really where the poles come in very, very handy. Now I'm going to show you how to use the poles going up a much steeper hill. This will work on any steepness of hill. Once again, short your poles. You're going uphill. Now I'm really going to dig in, lean a little bit forward, and go up this steeper hill. Think of these poles as propelling you forward. Push and just keep pushing in. You're going to feel this more in your triceps going all the way up this steep hill. Okay, now I'm going to come back at you, but remember, got to lengthen them. So I'm coming back out to very long. Just quick, quick, and I go. Now I'm going to come back at you with the poles in front of me. Coming down like Spider-Man. You can also double pole. So you plant them and walk a little bit through them, but keep them in front of you. You don't want the poles to be working their way up here. My body weight is suspended by the strap. Lakey has many different models of their poles. I'd suggest that you go to their website, which is www.lakey.com. That's L-E-K-I.com. Another thing that I really need to point out, I see a lot of people hiking with these plastic tips on them. These are for shipping only. You don't walk with them. So you just pull them out and throw them away. Now I do want to show you a very innovative pole that Lakey's come out. It's called the Vario. But before we look at it, this is how you'll receive the product in a nice small carrying case. So you can put this in your backpack or however you want to carry it. Now let me show you what this pole is all about. This is rather clever. So let me take one of them out of the, the bag here. And look at this. Oh my gosh, how are you going to hike with this? Well, this is a collapsible pole. And let me show you how to put it together because this can be a little confusing unless you're familiar with it. We got three sections. So what you're going to do is put the middle section in, push it in, and you can barely see this. In person, you'll see this probably a lot better. But there's another pole inside this. See, I'm pulling it out and I put it really hard. I snap it. Just put it in. And what happened was a little peg springs out. This will hold the pole together. And you probably saw the lower section went right in. And you complete the length where you get it the correct length for you. Okay. Hook the speed lock and you're off. Again, to take it apart, let's say you're done your hiking, you're going up a very uh, camping, a very steep grade, and you don't need the poles, you're kind of level after that. So you've done the steep grade. Now we're just going to take them apart by pushing in this little silver button and taking the shaft, pushing it up. And as you notice, it comes apart. Just flip it over and stick it back into the bag. So once again, you can get your poles at lakey.com. The poles are warranted for life. That's a very, very good offering. So if you ever have any issues in workmanship, just send them back to Lakey USA in Buffalo, New York. I want you to have a good hike and keep at it. Carpe diem.